Hi, welcome to another Calamari series. I've been asking online, please guys, give me other material to make tutorials about Calamaris. And there was a response on YouTube that says, look, Eric, is it possible you can make a video about a system where you have an SSD system and then a separate hard disk, which is probably often the case if you are on a real machine then my advice to students is if they want to buy a new PC, say, look, make sure you have at least 256 batteries, 512 SSD to put on your operating system. And then you are going to um, also have a hard disk, another one. So two things, if one crashes, you, you still have the other. And um, all the data goes on your gigabytes. Uh, hard disk, real hard disk, not an SSD. That's an option. Of course, if you can afford it, you buy an SSD of two terabytes. Um, that's something else. But it's a good thing to have it separate anyway. So an operating system that can go wrong, being it a Windows or, or a Mac or a Linux system, and the data where everything is stored. And even for gaming, I, I recommend it to my son as well, that you say, okay, the steaming, the Steam games, which is often gigabytes of games it goes not on your ssd don't waste your place with that put that one on your data so um that's the setup that's the idea now whether we want to do this in the mbr or efi it doesn't really matter it's just another way of um, formatting or another concept of, of how to launch uh, your system but this one is faster than efi and you'll see that if you try it out this uh, video that I've made about how to create a EFI partition and all that. So I'm gonna clone this guy. And what I need to do is make an, an extra hard disk. So the video is about an extra hard disk. What do we do then? And the idea is to actually put our home on the extra hard disk. That was the question online. <coughs> Let's go to the settings because I still have one machine storage has just one hard disk so how can we add an extra hard disk to the system we need to be able to set here extra right wait for it as optical drive so that's this thing and this one is as hard disk so i'm gonna fake of course that i have a new disk another disk i went to the shop bought one terabyte hard disk put it in cables electricity go <coughs> Let's give it a little bit more. How much space do I have on my computer here? <coughs> space enough, that's okay. So I'm gonna fake this 50 gigabytes of hard disk, which is actually five terabyte, but I'm gonna fake this as my external, not external, internal hard drive, but a separate one, right? <coughs> so that's another one. This one, that one, 50 gigabytes. Okay, so how will Calamaris react? What do we need to change? And that's the video. Optical drive, we are going to put in this one. Another question I was just, uh, I just answered online in YouTube is, does it change anything if you're on Arclinx D and Arclinx B? No, it does not. Calamaris is just one installer for all of them. What we do is change the configuration files because you want to see images of Arch Linux D when you boot up. You want to see images of Arch Linux B, BSP, WM if you boot up. So that's the difference. And we need to tell you, hey, you're booting up this kind of um, desktop, basically. But all the rest is just the same. So once you use a calamari system you can actually reuse the knowledge on any other distribution out there that is using calamaris because lots of them are doing that so we've got our installer we've got our version that's also interesting to keep track of and then we go for a next still in brussels belgian keyboard next and then we are normally what i do is normally I do it just an erase, okay? No swap. But as you see, so it has now two lines. That's something new, right? We can actually say, put the master boot record on 
SDAB, which is also an exercise I've done. Uh, it's also an idea to a what if that we could do. Um, that's not the point. The point is to have a Linux system, just one thing, and boot up, right? But, well, yeah, learn from what Calamaris does. You can say next. Let's see what he does, because I'm also curious. What if, right? This is for me also learning. What will Calamaris do with the second drive? Nothing. It's going to create an MSS port, MS-DOS partition, SDA, right? But it's never mentioning SDB at all. So it's not going to do anything with it, really. Okay. So I say, no, that's not what I want. I want to have a manual partition. And you can get rid, you can get delete everything that's on SDB. So that's the idea, deleting everything on SDB. Now, well, we learn a little bit. So we have here 20 gigabyte and 50 gigabyte, but it doesn't see anything. It doesn't, it doesn't recognize them. Click on the button here, master boot record, MBR, the magic button as I call it these days. And you have here a free space. Aha. Uh -huh suddenly it does appear the new partition table it's correct so it reads it correct when i set it to be an mbr it reads it as an mbr when i set it in the other videos as a, an efi it reads it correct as a gpt so just put, press the button okay this is from now on my magical button this one and indeed magically this hard disk appears Okay, that's one thing. I have a hard disk. I can say, let's create something. Do not create an EFI thing. This is a grub thing, right? So it's going to be exactly the same thing. The difference is you need an EFI boot up partition if you want to go for that. So we're going to, um, what will we do? Let's take our partition. Well, the thing up you start from the top and go to the bottom so this partition will be our root and the home will be our other hard disk so we don't change anything here unless you want to have swap right unless you want to have swap the mounting point is going to be root sorry that one root no need to set any flags root mm -hmm. okay that's it New partition, x4, root. Just that's it for this guy. The other guy, a separate physical other hard disk. This is not a partition, this is a separate thing. The left hand takes SSD, the right hand takes a terabyte hard disk, right? That's not there. Magical button. Click. Master boot record, he says, because he really doesn't care what's on there, really. Um, okay, this will not boot anything, but it needs to have some kind of uh, reference, right? Okay, free space, mm -hmm. create, x4, fine, encrypt, mm -hmm. later on, more videos. Here we say home. The mounting point for that particular hard drive is home. So, if the SSD crashes, I still have my hard disk, my physical hard disk that contains all my data. Okay. So we have now two elements. This one looks like this. It might also look like this. It might look differently. I say, okay, let's give it this one and let's make a free space swap. If you want to do that, you just do that. Okay, done. So we have a root partition on the SD, SSD and we have a fast swap as well and in the second one we have just our data the home now the most important thing if you have two things two physical things you have to tell the system where to boot from the master boot record should be either this one or that one now in what scenario did I use SDB the scenario where I have a computer that's not my own, my son's computer, with a hard disk of two terabytes. I thought, hey, wouldn't it be interesting to let my son 
boot up in Windows from SDA. It doesn't see anything, it doesn't see grub, uh, grub at all. And I put my grub in SDB. The only thing I need to do is press F8 in my case, a bias button, and say boot up from SDB rather than SDA. So nobody knew, in fact, that Linux was on there. And I pressed my magical button, my bias boot setup thingy, and then I said, okay, never mind SDA, boot up from SDB. That was my scenario. That works as well. But this is a simple scenario. We have just one operating system on this PC and it's gonna boot up from SDA. Okay, next. If there is no error, remember we did not set any flag. If we set a flag and we get an error, then you go back, you read the message like we did on the EFI uh, tutorial and you need to set, set a, a flag. <coughs> we go for next, next. Of course, <laughs> this is a little bit more complicated and this is actually a very good moment for me to do a control shift print screen, select area to grab, take a screenshot because this is important for my tutorial later on. This is a rather complex video or a setup rather. So we're going to make an MSS partition on device SDA. A partition is going to be for the root. We're also going to have there a Linux swap. And on SDB, we're going to have also an MSDOS partition. And all the things are for home. So the red thing here. And we're going to install Arch Linux on the new X4 system partition, which really doesn't explain is it this one or that one now. And set up a new run in the home. Install the bootloader on SDA, so this guy and not that guy. And off we go. It's as simple as that. And once you get past these things here, creation, 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 creation. If it gets past this, now we're in the clear. It's going to fill up the file system. It's going to take a while till everything is down. As it's installed, it's an unpacked, it's uh, unsquashed. And uh, you're good to go. That's how you set up a system with two hard disks the same applies for three four five hard disks but i guess with these days you have well let's say two hard disks one major a terabyte one and one smaller one let's wait for the installation and take a look at gparted once you pass the unsquashing like here somewhere it just moves along pretty quickly and it goes over the other modules that's uh, inside Calamaris. And we're almost there to reboot and say, and have a look, well, at Gparted. What did it do, Calamaris? Let's boot up from our grub. G parted wants to know my password and let's analyze. So what do we have? We have on an SDA a root partition, the mounting point for root. That's the size. We have an Arch Linux which is already really filled. The only thing missing is an office equipment here. OpenOffice or WPS or LibreOffice. We leave it up to you to decide what you like in the language you like, because it was, um, uh, well, decided a few years back not to include it. And then we have the Linux swap that we have. The idea of a swap is to be able to hibernate, for instance. If you hibernate, it means that you need to put your RAM data. So every process that is in your RAM should be able should be able to be written on the hard disk right so if you have eight gigabytes of ram i cannot hibernate because this is six so if you have four gigabytes of ram then this is adequately enough so five would be okay already so that's why we use swap if you have very low if you're very low in memory like one or two gigabytes then yes please do use swap if linux doesn't have enough memory it's just gonna write it there and 
supposedly that's then his uh, memory. Unallocated, there's always a piece that's left out, that's unimportant. And then we need to go to the other hard disk, which is up here. The device SDA, and this is our five terabyte, remember, because, uh, well, it's just a fake situation, of course, in a virtual box. But this is our home. It is our home, right? And home does cost us already a little bit. It says, it says one gigabyte, which I cannot, cannot believe, really but uh, it's more a formatting thing kind of thing because on the other video it says 350 megabyte or something so this is some other reason why it's that big uh, probably i don't know not gonna guess but everything is as it should be so we have our home partition so when i open when i click on this i'm actually working on my separate hard disk so to speak all right it's a real separate hard disk that's because of these buttons up here. As we know that. So there you go. Um, that's another question answered. So we're everywhere. We're on Facebook. We're on MeWe. We're on uh, YouTube. If there are still tutorials, if you're watching and following the Calamari series, and you say, I still have an answer uh, on, on this or that question, please put it in there. Um, this is the time to ask questions. We are making videos on Calamari, so uh, installing is now a hot topic for me here. All right, so enjoy.